Okay. Dedala's neck. Dedala or whatever, fuck. Yeah, there's a black despair. I kinda like that one. So anyway, I can get a lot of his money. I could get rid of... Yeah, maybe I can get 600 now. And that puts me down to really close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just set this bug lamp down on top of this treasure chest. That apparently weighs nothing. Hey, will you watch this for me? Wow, I, how am I going to get rid of this weight? I mean, besides putting this stuff in here... Sleeper. It's a lamp made out of a bug. Beat it deserves. Outlander, I haven't much time. That looks dangerous. That still looks a little bit dangerous.
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go wash some clothes. I'm gonna read a book. The Art of War Magic. I've never read this book. Chapter three. Maybe I uh, maybe I should read this yet. I'm not gonna read that. If it's the third chapter of something, I don't want to read it. So I'm gonna read Pala Book One. It's a very valuable series. Pala. Paula. I remember when I first heard that name. Not long ago at all. It was at a Tales and Tallows ball at a very fine estate west of Mir Corrup, to which I and my fellow Mages Guild initiates had found ourselves unexpectedly invited. Truth be told, we didn't have been too surprised. There were very few other noble families in Mir Corrup. The region had its halcyon days as a resort for the wealthy far back in the second era. And on reflection, it was only appropriate to have sorcerers and wizards present at a supernatural holiday. Not that we were anything more exotic than students at a small, non-exclusive charter house of the guild. But like I said, there was a pod... paucity of other choices available. For close to a year, the only home I had known was a rather ramshackle, if sprawling ground, was... was the rather ramshackle if sprawling, and see they missed some commas there. Ramshackle if sprawling grounds of the mere corrupt mages kill. My only companions were my fellow initiates, most of which only tolerated me, and the masters whose bitterness at being at a backwater guild prompted never ending abuse. Immediately the school of illusion had attracted me. The magister who taught us recognizes me as an apt pupil who loved not only the spells of the science but their philosophical underpinnings. There was something about the idea of warping the imperceptible energies of light, sound, and mind that appealed to my nature. Not for me the flashy schools of destruction and alteration. The holy, school, the holy schools of restoration and conjuration and the practical schools of alchemy and enchantment or the chaotic school of mysticism. No, I was never so pleased as to take an ordinary subject and by a little magic make it seem whether make it seem something other than what it was. It would have taken more imagination than I had to apply that philosophy to my monotonous life. After the morning's lessons, we were assigned tasks before our evening classes. Mine had been to clean out the study of a recently deceased resident of the guild and categorize his clutter of spellbooks, charms, and incunabula, whatever. Fuck kind of words. Just throwing bullshit into this fucking story. It was a lonely and tedious appointment. Magister Tid. Dex to Dixius to Dixus Magister to Dixus <laughs> This book is crazy. Magister to Dixus was an inveterate collector of worthless junk. But I was reprimanded any time I threw something away of the least possible value. Gradually, I learned enough to deliver each of his belongings to the appropriate department. Potions of healing to the red magisters of restoration 